Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are doing great because it is a fabulous day. And today we're gonna to be talking about loneliness. So if you wanna know more about this, just stick around. I was reading today that three out of five people are lonely in America. So I am saying to myself, wow, that is a lot. That is over 50%, three out of five. That's just too many. But then I was thinking, yeah, that can happen. Even speaking for myself, that can definitely, I felt lonely and I feel lonely sometimes. So people will say to me, but how can that be? You're so cheerful you're so outgoing that is true i will talk to anybody and everybody because i generally love people not politicians but i do love people and i love making new relationships so how can people feel lonely when there are so many different ways of communicating even now that we're isolating ourselves to a greater extent because we have to stay home some of our businesses are closed in our community maybe in yours too but we have all the technology available to keep us from being lonely so why is it that three out of five people in the united states feel lonely well I think it's all about self-isolation. It has nothing to do with your ability to not feel lonely, but it has to do with your choices. That's why you feel lonely. I mean, for heaven's sakes, really, we can always pick up the phone and talk to somebody. If you want to see them, you can talk to them with video, right? So why don't we do that? I can tell you right now, I don't do it often enough. So one of the things that I decided to do, which really changed my life in terms of feeling lonely, is that I dedicated a day where I had to call at least three people. And that, that was Sunday, but then I had to change it to Saturday <laughs> because people are at church, I can't be bothering them. So I said, okay, let's change it to Saturday but make it a routine because you know what happens? You get involved in things. And for example, I would be starting to do all my filming on Saturday. By the time my filming is done, then I have to do my editing. By the time my editing is done, then I'm doing my laundry or I'm doing my facial because I do that on Saturday too. I love taking care of myself on Saturday. But then by the end of the day, it's too late to be calling people, right? So, make sure it is a priority and it is one of the things you have to do that way you don't forget it so make it a goal make sure you do it schedule it put a reminder on your agenda have your agenda tell you who to call because sometimes you're just like well i don't know who should i call i don't know let's look through this list of a thousand people that i know that i haven't spoke to <laughs> Go through your list one at a time and surprise them. Now, let me tell you why. Because they're feeling the same thing you're feeling. More likely than not, they also have been very busy and they haven't been able to speak with their friends. And little by little, that bond starts to disintegrate. And when you don't have these bonds connecting you to other people, that's when you start feeling lonely. That's the feeling of loneliness. That's the three in five Americans. So the only way to keep those bonds strong is to take action. So yes, you have to make sure that you call people, at least three people, and look through your, I challenge you, look through your contact list. Look through that contact list because I don't want you to call the same person all the time. As a matter of fact, I will challenge you right now I want you to go through your contact list and I want you at random, close your eyes, do that now and just pick somebody. That's the person that you're going to call as soon as this video is over. You're going to call them and you're going to say hi. Now you're feeling, oh, I don't know if I can do that. Oh yes, you can. And when you do that, 
you're gonna feel great. And not only that, you're gonna make them feel great. So that's a double whammy for you because when you make people feel good, you feel good. That's how you start building bonds and building the positive vibrations that you need to max up your life. So I challenge you to do that and come back and tell me. I want you to write in the chat in the bottom, uh, you know, where people leave their comments, say, okay, when I did the random selection, I had to call Tom. I don't know who Tom is, so it doesn't matter. Or I had to call Mary. Whoever Mary is, go ahead. Give Mary a call and then come back and tell me what happened with that phone call. Because I want everybody to see how fulfilling it is to get a call out of the blue and, and to reconnect with people you haven't spoken to. Because what happens is that you say to yourself, oh, you, you know, I'm gonna call Fred in, in a, tomorrow because I'm too busy today. Or yeah, I haven't spoken to Mary in two weeks. I've gotta call Mary. And lo and behold, three months pass by and you haven't spoken to Mary. And now you're thinking, I can't call Mary at this point because I feel embarrassed. Too much time has passed. Mary has nothing to say to me at this point. I have nothing to say to Mary. I challenge you, do it, do it. Make yourself call somebody, make somebody happy because you're thinking of them. Okay. And, uh, and just start a new thing. Go ahead, start a new thing, you know? Some people watch videos here where they do the roulette of, you know, makeup roulette, you know, and they're putting on the blue because it came out on the roulette and they're putting on the blue. Uh, who cares about the makeup roulette when you got the human roulette that you haven't played? Play the game, call the person, and let's work on not feeling lonely because we're taking action to reconnect with people. All right, trust me, it's gonna make you max up your day. <laughs> so please hit that like button and subscribe. But more important than all of that, I hope that you have a day filled with peace, love, and joy. Bye-bye.